Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. It is the first of the month, which means it is sheet load of cards day. I'm so glad that you're here for it. If you're new to my channel or to sheet load of cards, this is a free printable I put out each month for my subscribers here on my YouTube channel. In it, I give you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your products and create a sheet load of cards. This is usually between 6 and 12 cards, depending upon the sketch and the paper size that we'll be using. Today, I'll be sharing a look at the new printable for September 2024, giving you a peek at my first set, and telling you how you can download the PDF for free. Tomorrow, I will be back with the process video where I'll show you how I made that first set and give you some tips along the way. And also tomorrow, my creative team will be joining me in sharing their sets. Everybody is linked in that description box below. If you're not already subscribed to them, I hope you'll go do that so you'll be all ready for tomorrow. Also joining us is our September 2024 guest artist. Let's go ahead and learn a little bit about her. If you're a longtime fan of Sheetload of Cards, you might recognize our September 2024 guest artist, Karen Aiken of the Painted Mountain Cards YouTube channel. She was on our video team for a long time, and not only does she still create beautiful sets of cards using sheet load, but she also has an extra special connection to this month's edition, which you'll find out about here in just a little bit. Until then, let's go ahead and do a little Q&A with Karen. I'm super excited to have Karen back on the team for the month. Before we take a look at that new September 2024 sheet load of cards, I do have a few special channel member shout outs. In the month of August, I had some channel members earn their two year membership badge. Congratulations goes to the Moody Crafter, Joy Moody, Penny Nelson, Cindy Fields, Karina S, Pamela Snyder, Cindy Davis, Carmen Reyes, Cheryl Soul, Jody, aka Rando Calrissian, and Debbie Name Out Hill. And we also have some members who are celebrating three years of membership. Congratulations to Deborah Earhart, Nicole Swanberg, Shannon C, Pat May, Judy BS1, Beth Casolini. And Jose Melendez. Thank you so much to everyone I mentioned here today for your continued support of my channel. And thank you as well to all of my channel members who keep me creating here on YouTube and help keep Sheetload of Cards free for all subscribers. Thanks again so much for your continued support. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new Sheetload of Cards. The September 2024 sheet load is special in a couple of ways. First of all, you might have noticed from the sketch that it is a special mini slimline edition. And secondly, this layout and all of the cutting dimensions for this month were inspired by our September 2024 guest artist, Karen Aiken of Painted Mountain Cards. 
I originally found her video earlier this year and what she did was she showed you how to use six by six paper, no scraps to make this fun fold mini slimline. I loved it so much that I reached out to her to see if I could use it for a future sheet load and today I'll show you how I converted it to 12 by 12 paper. I do have Karen's original video link down in that description box below and if you open up the PDF online you can actually click on this little bit.ly link down here and it will take you straight to it. Also, while you're down there in that description box clicking on her video link, make sure to subscribe to her channel if you're not already. And Karen, thank you again for being the inspiration for this month's sheet load of cards. If you follow this month's sketch, supply list, and cutting guides, you are going to yield 12, yes, 12 mini slimline cards using just three pieces of pattern paper and of course some cardstock for bases and matting. Now, if mini slim lines aren't necessarily your thing and maybe you want to try one or two out, don't forget that on each printable, I do give you the dimensions of each piece so you can experiment with a card or two, maybe even use up some scraps to give it a try. And like in past months, I do give you some alternative ideas on how you can switch it up just a little bit. Sheet load is always a great jumping off point for you to make these cards your own. On page two of the printable, I show you how to cut all of your card stocks and your pattern papers. And you might notice, look at these, it's also a no scraps edition. Now you're gonna look at these card stocks and maybe be like, oh, Alicia, that's a lot of card stock. But a lot of it is for the card bases and your circles for your front focal point and for your message inside. And probably as card makers, we all have a lot of extra card stock. So I hope that that won't deter you from giving the September 2024 sheet load a try. This month also does call for some circles, but you could always make them squares or other shapes if you don't have those dies. I do show you how you're going to get your card base and two of your circles from like your white cardstock or your base cardstock, and then you'll get the mats for those circles from a coordinating color. Now, if you don't have the circles I suggest, you could definitely use sizes from your own stash. Another thing I'd like to point out is normally when I make mini slimline cards, I do them three and a quarter by six and a quarter when they're folded, but this is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be three and a half by six and a quarter. This size will still fit in those standard envelopes you can find at your local office supply store, big box store. Let me show you what those look like. These are the envelopes that I get and I pick these up at the Dollar Tree. So a dollar and a quarter for a box of 40 and they might be under number six and three quarters envelopes, but really they are just the standard kind of smaller business size that is very common. Mine are pre-adhesed, so that is always nice. Now you can find sizes too on Amazon if you want to, but if you're close to a Dollar Tree, a Walmart, an Office Max, Office Depot, stop in and get yourself some. Before I share a look at my first set for the month, I want to show you the main supplies that I'm gonna be using. In front of me are the main supplies you'll see me use in tomorrow's video. I'll start off by showing you the focal point dies. For this, I am using a Hello die and two concentric circles, and all of these are past Spellbinder sets. Now, I did find circles that were pretty close to those original sizes. For my card stocks, I'm gonna be using dried fig for the sentiment, pineapple for my matting, and sugar cube for my card bases. I honestly think that I couldn't have gotten a closer match in cardstock than I did. The pattern papers this month come from Cartabella's Bloom Collection. I chose this floral for all, of course, the pretty florals, but also the various colors. And then to go with it, I chose a couple more pieces that are kind of a tone on tone. You have this ledger look yellow and then kind of this periwinkle, kind of a purpley blue tone on tone pattern there. Now it's time to take a look at the first set of cards I created using the brand new September 2024 sheet load of cards.
I hope you enjoyed seeing the first set of cards that I created with the latest sheet load of cards, September 2024. A couple things I would like to point out about my set, and you'll see me do in tomorrow's video, is for the focal circle, instead of stamping right onto that, I did use a die cut hello, and to add some texture behind it, I did some circle embossing with an embossing folder. And then on the inside of this one, I used a circle like the sketch and directions call for. But also, if you would like just a little bit more room to write, you can also just put a piece of white cardstock here to cover up the more of the background paper. And then you would also have some space over here. And tomorrow I'll show you how I did this. If you did enjoy this peek, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the free printable. As always, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel before you click on the download link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute. Being a subscriber is free, quick, and easy. If you haven't already, click on the subscribe button below this video, and while you're there, why don't you go ahead and turn on that bell for all notifications so you know when I've uploaded my latest video. You're going to find the link to the September 2024 sheet load of cards down in the description box right below my related products list. Below the link, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can download the file to your device and then open it and print it, or you can download it to your device, open it, and just use it on screen. And while I have printed mine in color, if you only have a black and white printer, that will work just as well. When you're done creating your set for the month, if you share online, please use the hashtags at the top of the printable. And if you'd like to send in a card for my end of the month video, make sure to check out the new show us your sheet load guidelines video down in that description box below. I always love to see what you're creating. Until tomorrow, when I'll be back with the process video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.